Let's now take a look at what's happening in the United States. The president is still making headlines for the wrong reasons. This time he lambasted an American reporter born in China. So this is what happened. Donald Trump finally decided to host his first media briefing since the 27th of April. He appeared in the White House Rose Garden with a sign behind him that sanctimoniously read, and I'm quoting, America leads the world in testing. Besides coronavirus denial, of course. Now, one reporter at the press conference challenged Donald Trump as to why he viewed testing as a global competition. Fair point. The United States has lost more than 80,000 lives after all. But Donald Trump did not think it was fair. He did not like the question. It did not help that the reporter's name was Wei Jia Jiang, a Chinese American. Trump's response to her was this, don't ask me, ask China. Listen to what he said and pay attention to his tone. Many times that the U.S. is doing far better than any other country when it comes to testing. Yes. Why is this a global competition to you if every day Americans are still losing their lives and we're still seeing more cases every day? Well, they're losing their lives everywhere in the world. And maybe that's a question you should ask China. Don't ask me. Ask China that question, okay? When you ask them that question, you may get a very unusual answer. Yes, behind you, please. What, sir, why are you saying that to me specifically? I'm telling you, I'm not saying it specifically to anybody. I'm saying it to anybody who would ask a nasty question that's like that. That's not a nasty question. Please question. go ahead. A nasty question, he said, and decided that the questions to follow would be equally nasty. So Donald Trump decided to not hear them. He simply stormed out of the press conference. It was quite dramatic. Watch this. Okay. Uh, anybody else? I have two questions, Mr. Next. President. Next, please. But you, did, you called on me. I did, and you didn't respond, and now I'm calling on Sorry, I just the young lady in the back, please. I just wanted to let my colleague finish, okay. but can I ask you Ladies and gentlemen, please? thank you very much. Appreciate but it. You thank you very me. much. What a tantrum. We haven't heard from the White House since, but a White House report has been leaked. A report that says coronavirus rates are spiking in heartland communities of America. The report belongs to the White House Pandemic Task Force, and now it belongs to the American media. According to this report, coronavirus infection rates are spiking at new highs in several metropolitan areas and smaller communities across the U.S. What this means is that the pandemic is spreading quickly beyond coastal areas that were the initial hotspots, cities like New York. The pandemic is moving inwards towards Texas, Kentucky, Nebraska, Arizona and the likes. These are areas that have recorded a 72% or greater surge in the number of cases. This data is at odds with all claims of normalcy of the U.S. president. And despite this, Donald Trump wants America to be liberated from the lockdown. His supporters are religiously defying social distancing. They're armed with guns, not masks. And it keeps getting more bizarre, I have to say. What I'm about to show you is outrageous. It would have been funny in better times. Anti-lockdown protesters doing squats and push-ups outside a courthouse in Florida. Why? Because they want gyms to reopen. They want to stay fit. These people decided to show why gyms need to be reopened by doing exercises that don't need a gym. Just what was the point they were trying to make? I'm not sure. I'll not hazard a guess. All I can say is that the Trump administration cannot blame others for the growing crisis in America. Not if the president walks out of press conferences and certainly not if his supporters continue to mock social distancing by working out shoulder to shoulder at public places.